Yes, we are back. We're here at Signature Group and we're in their new premises. These guys are killing it right now. And since the last time that I've seen them, they have had to move because quite frankly, they can't fit all the cars in the building at the same time. So we've had the LT now for a strong season. It's been on road trips. It's been on a drag race. And so far, the car has been absolutely fantastic. But with all those things taking place, the car has also taken a pounding. The one that stands out the most though was definitely the drag race against the Porsche 918. That video saw the LT reach 180 miles per hour, but that runway was covered in stones and sand and the surface was just really bad for this car. Also, the original PPF application on this car wasn't done by Signature. One of the things that sold it to me was the fact that it already had a full body PPF applied. However, having inspected this car so far, there are a few problems with it. And the idea today is that I brought it to Signature. Having seen those guys do my RS6, I know that these guys know how to do it right. So we're gonna peel off any of the bad stuff and apply only the good stuff. We're also gonna prepare this car for winter. As you know, if you watch these channels, my cars do get driven and they do get driven hard. And just because it's winter in England, it doesn't mean that the LT isn't gonna get driven. So without further ado, let's give this car a check over, see what's what. Okay, so one of the main reasons that I'm bringing this car into Signature, as you can see here, the PPF application actually isn't that great. I'm not sure where this was applied in the first place because I did buy it like this. I bought the car with the wrap all over it, but this actually happened from quite an early stage that it started to peel back from here. And you can just see like this line of grime here which on an orange car stands out big time. The other thing as well, if we take a walk around here, is that on an LT, the door gets shown a lot because obviously it's got dihedral doors that flare out. And the first thing you see when you open this door is the underside of it. And since day one, it seems the PPF here started to peel back and obviously the direction of dirt under this door is traveling fast but there's supposed to be a proper seal formed here which obviously hasn't happened and over time there's lots of dirt has been wedged underneath there and it's really annoying because in photos and films all you see when you open the door is this sort of grime patch so that also as well is a panel which we're going to swap out yeah so first thing that signature will do now is give this car a once over check it for any imperfections blemishes etc we're going to give this car a full detail and wash down before peeling off any of the ppf and then we're going to get to work making this thing look brand new again let's do it The car has been fully washed, checked over, cleaned down, and importantly, decontaminated. So when we apply the PPF, there's gonna be no contaminants in the area to make sure that the new panels stick properly. Now, the interesting phase now, which I've never experienced, is taking off old panels of PPF, which are currently defective. So it'll be really interesting to compare panels afterwards and even look at the film itself, just to see how much of a pounding that stuff has taken. state of this stuff. 
I mean, when you apply this from brand new, it's completely transparent and clear. Look how much gunk and grime is wrapped up in, in that stuff. It just absorbs so much. We have just removed that faulty application of PPF. If there was ever an example of how important this stuff is, obviously this is the area where the original application was in intended to be, but it started to peel off. And this is the area with PPF on it. This looks fine. And this stuff is battered, scratched and scarred. Yeah, you can clearly see there that it is in a very bad way. And where the PPF was is practically brand new. Amazing stuff. And if okay, amazingly and incredibly conveniently, Signature have in this stunning chicane grey 675LT Spider. Um, but what's great about it is uh, that I'm able to walk around this and compare the PPF application they're doing on this car with the application on my car. One thing which was highlighted to me, which I didn't really think about, was actually protecting the inside of these air vents here. Now, it might sound a bit OTT, but if you think about it, if you look down the side of this car, the air vents stick out. That's their whole purpose. It's to suck in as much air as it can, but also along with that, it's sucking in everything else. I've had a look on the inside of mine and that thing has just <laughs> been absorbing dirt and grime. And as a result, the inside of mine are fairly beat up. Even still, Signature very kindly offered to uh, wrap mine for me, uh, but it's really cool having an example of pretty much exactly the same car and being able to compare jobs and see where it can be improved. One more thing as well, which I hadn't thought about, and when you think about PPF, you typically only think about applying it to the outside of the car. After all, this film originated because the idea was to protect the car from stone chips. But as this process has evolved, the whole car getting wrapped, but now Signature are advising me that they can PPF certain panels on the inside of the car. And I thought to myself, why would I want that? Maybe that is slightly too far. But there's something on the inside of the LT, in the uh, footwells, the whole thing is completely glazed in carbon fibre. Now it's a bit dark here, but if I just zoom in here, all of that area there, that whole panel down there is carbon. Now where your feet sit and rest, you're going to be banging up against this carbon panel here. Now, Signature have told me that they are able to apply PPF on the inside in those areas there. They don't charge for it if you're having the car completely wrapped. So uh, I thought, why not? Okay, so obviously those panels I was talking about, these are very bespoke applications. There is no template for these little intricate details. So what Signature have is this big board behind me. At first glance, it looks like a whiteboard, but it is actually a digitizer. And what this allows them to do is trace and plot exactly any custom panels that need making. Case in point is the uh, footwell carbon. No template exists for that. So the guys here trace it, apply it on this board and then digitally map it and then transfer it to their graph tech, chops it out to match each panel perfectly. All right, next up is interior clean. The inside of the LT, even though I've had it for quite a short amount of time, has taken a beating. The side bolsters on the seats of the LT are in a contrast orange and the jean stain is just popping off that like crazy. So that's getting cleaned down. But the biggest thing on the inside of, of the LT is Alcantara. When you look in there, it is draped in it. Signature fortunately have a great care kit for that. So the whole car inside is getting a complete clean and then the care kit will be applied to the Alcantara. So in future, cleaning that stuff will be easy.
right, and that is it for our time at Signature Group. The car has had its preparation for winter. We've had PPF touch-ups and the interior has been cleaned and protected for the season ahead. As always, I want to say a massive thank you to Signature Group for doing an awesome job. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.